So we begin with the big issue. Fed Chair Jay Powell upsetting rate cut bets. Core inflation unexpectedly fell as well, however, and as of March stood at 1.6 percent for the previous 12 months. We suspect that some transitory factors may be at work. Inflation is below target. It is. It's something the Fed has talked about. And then he walked it right back and he said, yeah, it's low and we're worried about it, but we think it's transitory. When they say low inflation is transitory, that sounds like they're in no hurry to cut rates. The market was thinking the Fed could cut 50 basis points over the next couple of years. And the chair really gave no fodder to the market to believe that that's going to be the case. The market was leaning uh, a bit more aggressively toward a more dovish outcome. An extremely dovish posture by the market. Right now, the Fed is just saying, we're going to stay on to hold, we're going to sit tight, see how the data comes in. Joining me now around the table to continue the conversation, Jim Caron, Morgan Stanley Investment Management, Global Fixed Income Managing Director, Jonathan Hertel, Hertel Callahan, Executive Chairman, and Michael Schaul, Market Field Asset Management Chairman and CEO. Jim, let's begin with you. Your thoughts on Chairman Powell? Well, I, I think transitory is code for we're not in a hurry to cut any interest rates. There's no preemptive rate cut. I also think that we can be informed by what's going on with energy prices, right? So if we just look at year-over-year -year energy prices, if you look at the first quarter, it was down. If you just look at oil, um, um, the second quarter is supposed to start to stabilize and third quarter the same. It's really not until the fourth quarter that you start to see that year over year energy rise in prices. Oil is really yeah. what I'm talking about. Start to come in in the fourth quarter and that's when inflation might start to actually pick up. It would be excessive to call this Federal Reserve hawkish because the pivot it's brought around in the last three or four months is anything but hawkish. But it's always relative. There were some rate cut bets out there. There still are, Michael. Do you okay. think it's excessive? Well, I, I, this sort of idea that it was going to be 1995 again, you know, seemed to me to be a bit naive because nobody mentioned that the rate cuts in 1995 only took place because we blew up Mexico and half of the emerging markets <laughs> and had to bring in Brady bonds. So I, I think the Fed is in a very reactive poise. They've made a big change to monetary policy from their perspective. Uh, and they are going to wait until data tells them they need to go up or data tells them or markets tell them they need to go down. I, I don't think this is going to be a proactive Fed and I don't blame them for taking that stance. The Fed's going nowhere fast, John, and, and seemingly that's not going to change anytime soon. They have a dual mandate, low inflation, full employment. We have both. So why not wait and see? So that's what they're doing. Seems to us we're going to be in a long period of low, stable interest rates.